Hey guys, I'm back. Yeah, I know you miss me. Come on, give me a hug. I'm sorry I hadn't posted a video for a while now. It's just that I couldn't find any time to work on videos. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make crepes. Crepes, crepes, however you say it. I usually make them in breakfast, but you can also make them in lunch too, based on what you put inside it. With all that said, let's go. The ingredients used to make the batter of the crepe is vegetable oil, two-thirds of a cup of flour, one cup of milk, a measuring cup, two eggs, a bowl, a strainer, a whisk, and a teaspoon measuring spoon for the oil. The first step is to crack the eggs and pour the milk into the bowl. Keep the measuring cup on the side because you will need to use it later. The next step is to mix those two together and after you mix it, it will look something like this. Step three is to pour two thirds of all purpose flour and then mix. Sorry for the long wait. A few moments later. And we're done. This is what it looks like. Step five is to add two teaspoons of vegetable oil into your batter. Step six, which is the last step before making the batter, is to mix. To make sure that there are no flour clumps in your batter, put the strainer on top of the measuring cup you use to pour the milk and slowly pour the batter through the strainer into the measuring cup. When the batter stops going through the strainer, lift it up and use the whisk to break down the flour clumps. What you need to form and make the crepe is a pan, a spatula, a butter knife and butter, a plate for the measuring cup with the batter because it's going to get messy, trust me, and two plates. You would also need the combination of whatever you're going to put inside the crepe. And my example is Nutella with bananas. What you need to do is turn the stove onto medium, put the pan on the stove, get a slice of butter or two, and tilt it around the pan so it is all over the surface of the pan. After that, pour a portion of batter onto the pan, then spread it around by tilting the pan. Once you spread the batter, wait for 30 seconds to a minute. And once you do that, you are ready to flip. 
just like this. Oh, oh okay. Uh, not like that. But I'm gonna fix it and now like this. <laughs> Wait another 30 seconds and flip it onto a plate. After that, grab your combinations and apply it onto your crepe. And this is how I'm going to apply my banana and Nutella onto the crepe. If you're doing the same combination as me, feel free to copy me in this video, but I would recommend putting the Nutella before the bananas. It's just that I forgot and I made a mistake. <laughs> The final step to complete your crepe is to fold your crepe in any shape or way that you want and this is how I did it. Once you're done with that, you're finished. But if you want to make more, repeat steps 8 and 13 until all the batter is gone. So that's how you make crepes. If you're wondering what combinations you can put inside the crepe besides bananas and Nutella, I'm going to write a few down below in the description. And if you want to see any other videos, like any suggestions that you want to see from me, just comment down below. Hope you have a good day. See you next time.